A very good morning to all students and welcome to Sri Chaitanya. So I hope all of you have calculated your marks. We have circulated our detailed uh, solution PDF or NEET 2025 with answer key and all the codes. And the exam was really tough. And today we are going to discuss what will be the possible cutoff for NEET 2025. So how we have calculated this possible cutoff? So we have segregated uh, subject wise, easy, moderate and difficult categories. And from there, we have calculated the approximately which type of questions the student can easily attempt. Out of that, we have curated one easy solution and easy formula to find out what will be the most probable cutoff for NEET 2025. So let me give you a brief idea uh, how we have calculated subject wise and then what will be the safe marks for NEET 2025. So let's start with first uh, botany. So um, we have categorized uh, these questions in easy, moderate and difficult. So easy question, I have uh, um, all the team member have uh, selected the code 48, but uh, because uh, this is not the solution, so it, it will not affect the, the number of question remain constant for all the codes. So for easy code number 48 is specifically in botany and uh, we have uh, added ecology in botany. So therefore the number of question are relatively higher as compared to the geology. So in code 48, easy question are 96, 98, 99, 103, 110, 117 to 162. If you count the easy question, it comes to 16 and total marks is 64. So 64 marks are easy category question and the moderate are uh, in same 48 code 93 to 178. This is 23 questions. Because I have, uh, I'm saying that ecology we have added in botany. So the number of questions are higher than 45 in botany we have considered, but you can able to change according to the subject which you taught in the class 11th and 12th. And if you talk about the difficulty, so difficult questions are 107 to 117. I have mentioned the question, you can take the screenshot of this so that you can easily get which type of question we have categorized in easy, moderate and difficult. So if you count the difficult question, it is 14 of 56 marks, correct? So how we have calculated this? So what we are assuming specifically in geology and botany, all the easy question must be solved by all the student within a small period of time. So we have calculated easy, say for safe score, easy will be solved 100%. So there is no negative marks in easy. So if the easy question of 64, that means at least you have to score 64 out of 64 in easy. Now coming up to moderate. So we have calculated in moderate cases, uh, there are possibility of doing error of 10%, but you have to solve 90% uh, accurate answer to the moderate level. So if you find out 90% of 92, it comes to 33 points, sorry, 82.6, 82.8. So from easy, you have to score 64. From moderate, the student can score 82.8. Now comes to difficulty. So I have calculated difficulty, 60% you have to solve. So 60% of the difficulty is 33.6 out of uh, 56 marks. So uh, there is a negative marks, right? So how we have calculated the negative marks? Let me explain first. So I have taken 25% of the difficulty level as a negative marks, but you can say we have calculated 60% here why we have taken 25. So what we are assuming if the difficult questions are 14 and you have solved at least nine questions, that doesn't mean all the rest question you have uh, left or there are some questions which you have solved which make give you a negative marks or which may give student a negative mark. So that's why we have taken 25% of the moderate as a negative marks and 10% of the moderate as a negative marks, which comes to 14 and 9.5. So the safe score is specifically in botany is 158 because the number of questions are higher as compared to 45 because few topics of ecology we have added. So the score comes to 158 in botany. So let's see what about the geology. So geology is easy, moderate and difficult. The same formula we have applied, but the percentage we have little bit changed. So the in easy 92 to 169, there are 20 question comes under easy. You can take the screenshot, which question we have marked as easy, moderate and difficult. And in our telegram channel, we have uploaded the code 48 and all the questions so you, that you can easily get which question is easy, which is moderate, which is difficult. It might possible, you can say there are few questions comes from moderate to easy or moderate to easy, but the number remain constant. 
सो द क्वेश्चन विच आर इजी आर ट्वेंटी द क्वेश्चन विच आर मॉडरेट इज फोर्टीन द क्वेश्चन आर विच इज डिफिकल्ट इज थ्री इन जियोलॉजी नाउ द मार्क्स इज एट्टी फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड ट्वेल्व द फॉर्मुला इज इजी आई हैव टेकन हंड्रेड परसेंट मॉडरेट नाइंटी परसेंट डिफिकल्ट सिक्सटी परसेंट एंड इन नेगेटिव मार्क्स डिफिकल्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एंड मॉडरेट टेन परसेंट सो इफ यू कैलकुलेट विद दिस फॉर्मुला द मार्क्स विज वन ट्वेंटी नाइन सो द बॉटनी इज वन फिफ्टी एट Geology is 129, but the number of questions are less than 45 because few questions we have moved from botany to geology because there is no such segregation in botany and geology in the system. So this is about geology. Now comes to chemistry. So chemistry in the easy, moderate, and difficult is from question number 46 uh, to 86. There are one question in chemistry which may be. Uh, bonus marks of that particular hydration compound question in which co nh3 hold twice cl3 that question may be uh, they give bonus but i have considered that also in easy category so easy moderate and difficult so question number 46 to 86 are easy 48 to 89 are moderate difficult so number easy are 18 moderate are 20 difficult is 7 so in chemistry we have kept seven question in difficulty level and these seven question required certain time to solve so i have kept this in seven and then one ether question the stereochemistry that you need to solve entire ether question so that is also comes under difficult so let us calculate the formula is little bit change as compared to botany and geology here in the easy i have taken 90% so you have to solve 90 but in geology and botany the all the easy 100% we have taken so 90% and if you see the negative marking of easy i have taken 10% so 90 for the correct and 10 for the negative moderate we have taken 90 but in geology and botany we have taken uh, it sorry here it is 18 geology and botany that is 90 difficult we have taken 70 so if you count this marks it comes to 126 marks in chemistry so this is the formula which we have calculated this is the 126 is the safe marks now comes to the physics which is the difficult part uh, everyone says that physics is difficult uh, but we have not mentioned the question number but the question which are easy is 18 moderate are 70 difficult are 10 Uh, now easy 72 marks 68 and 40 and the formula remains same as of in chemistry so the easy 64.8 if you calculate the total plus marks and negative marking it is 109 so the safe marks for neat physics is 109 marks so let's find out overall what is the safest score so this is the subject wise safe score in neat 2025 based on this analysis of easy moderate and difficult and the negative marking we have calculated all the possible positive answers which we have calculated the physics is 109 chemistry is 126 botany is 158 geology is 129 so what is the safe score so the safe score is 522 in neat 2025 this safe score says the paper difficulty level is relatively higher as compared to the previous year and the good score is 535 or ever so if you are scoring 522 or ever 522 there is maximum chance that you can get a government college and if your score is ever 535 that is considered as a very good college 100% you are going to get one government college your score above 600 is extremely good score and very less student are Touching seven hundred. Uh, so far, we have not heard about seven hundred plus marks, but very less student are going to touch seven hundred score. So five twenty two must be the cutoff for NEET twenty twenty five. Thank you.